So we are currently having a beautiful sale down the outside on the eastern edge of the Ribbons Reef. This episode on Sailing Papau, we get to witness our first coral spawning event in the middle of the day. There's no such thing as a bad fish, just a bad cop. So One of the worst fish you've ever cooked. Mm. And find out we've got a few surprises on the horizon. We have a cyclone coming in the coral <laughs> sea. <bit> Finally! <laughs> We did decide to head south from the ribbons. We just, I think it's shut down. We're pretty sure that it's shut down. There's no more doggies there, they've gone home. Um, yeah, it's just been really quiet. And we have a cyclone coming in the coral <laughs> sea. Deja vu. Deja vu, yeah. So we were gonna go to Lizard and we sort of just held off on the ribbons because uh, we were waiting to see what happened with that forecast. But definitely formed and it's definitely coming through the coral sea. Looks like it's going to go to the south of us but um, for insurance reasons we just have to get back near like Cooktown or Port Douglas or Cairns and um, our car's in Cairns so we've decided to go back to Cairns and maybe do a little bit of land exploring while we're there. We are trying to catch a fish online. Lost three already. Lost three. Yeah, and the lure. three. Lost one lure. It's just this is like absolute champagne sound like I'm cooking no issues right now and uh, yeah, we're doing eight, like knots. eight knots so before we jump into what is possibly one of the worst catch and cooks Ow. I want to take you back a few days to some diving we did just further north where we came across a pretty incredible event that we've actually never seen underwater before we're on time we're on time right yeah, on time we're, we're actually I'm ready before you I'm not used to that. This huge coral head is spawning. Spawning is dying. I don't know, I was wondering that. Most corals spawn during the evening, and usually only once per year. So to see this huge, old coral spawning in the middle of the day, and right when we swim over it, was incredible timing. It's weird, you can't really see it coming out. Pretty amazing how it's just ended. Yeah, run out of it. This type of coral only grows around one to two centimeters per year. So at three meters wide, this one could be anywhere from one to 200 years old. It's always very cool to see these huge healthy coral heads as they tend to become their own little ecosystem, providing plenty of shelter and shade for a variety of big and small marine life. And if you're curious about the feel of these, despite looking very soft and velvety, they're actually rock solid and extremely rough like sandpaper. And just like that, it was over. In the meantime, we heard Pete and James yelling about something up current. You're cheating! You're kidding! That's what that bird would be following just there. Every now and then you get these strange days underwater where you see things that you don't expect. Fish in all places, coral spawning in the middle of the day, and finally this interspecies turtle crash between a loggerhead and a green turtle. It's pretty unusual given how aware they usually are of their surroundings.
exploded. So that's annoying. That was our last sup. And they've lasted four years, four or five years, four years. Sitting in the sun, but I think I think what killed them was sitting in the boat in Townsville for eight months in 30 degree heat. The glue just broke down, so we use them uh, quite a lot. So it's a little bit annoying. Uh, the problem with fiberglass is they're really loud when they're tied up. Our friends on Selkie have them and when they paddle over they're like duk, duk, duk. <laughs> so I don't know. We will have to do a little bit of research on what's up to buy. You got there Jess? So I got a nice trout. I was hunting some moo there. There was one big fat moo in the shallows but um, this guy came along. We've, had, we've hardly seen any trout here. So I took the opportunity to blast this and gave up on the moo because they taste better than moo. <laughs> so that was a totally thinking with my stomach one. And I got a nice Mary sea perch. So this was one of my target species up at the ribbons this year. We've seen a lot. Got this guy. They're gonna fill it this up now. These aren't known to be the greatest eating fish. So I'm interested to see what it looks like. I haven't actually I've never eaten one, so, yeah, they're okay. you know, we'll give it a go. There's no such thing as a bad fish, just a bad cult. So um, our go-to is usually like fish dip or fish cakes, but I'm going to fillet it, make up my own mind on what it looks like, maybe crumb fish. What's everything, your favorite way of cooking? Everything not... tastes good crumbed. <laughs> everything tastes good crumbed and fried. Everything. Yeah, we've eaten a lot of fried fish this week. All right. Not too bad, it sort of looks like cod. See that? Big yeah, flaky. Quite flaky. Hmm. Oh, not gonna poo poo it yet, that's for sure. I always like to try a fish once. A lot of people say that like fish are not good eating and you really just have to try it for yourself. Like marlin, for example, a lot of people don't believe us when we tell them that it's like one of our favorite fish to eat. It's it the is, best. It is delicious. And a lot of people think that we're just trying to justify that fish, but it's actually, it is genuinely good. And so many people think that we're pulling their leg when we meet them. They're like, do you really like marlin? We're like, yes, we, we really do. Camera's off. That is genuinely what we think. And I'm not joking. So I'm going to give that a try. Um, coral trout, <laughs> well, we know that's good. What I'm gonna do is cut this Maori zipper's stomach open. Woo hoo hoo! So many people are like, that's fucking What's wrong with this chick? Are they? I don't know. <laughs> crab? Might be crab claws. It's a shell. What's a shell? They are little claws. <laughs> Yeah, right. And that, oh yeah, that's the crab. Carapace. Carapace. Oh. Yeah. What have we got? We have Mary Sea Perch fillets, so I'm going to cook them up, see how bad they are. Um, I don't know why you keep poo pooing it, just see how it is. It looks good. No, everyone else poo poos it, that's all, but I did trim a lot of like, uh, I don't know, blood and stuff out, but it's pretty good. It sort of looks like cod meat a little bit. Quite firm, so we'll see. I'm gonna cook it in the tried and tested butter, bit of olive oil, finishing it with garlic. And I've just coated that with salt, pepper and garlic batter. Fry it up and we're gonna have fish wraps. We're just currently having a glorious sale we sail down the outside of the ribbons. Absolutely flying this morning, doing eight knots, so that's been nice. It's, it's really bad. <laughs> what do you mean? It's really chewy. Old boot. Possibly one of the worst fish I've ever cooked, to be honest. One of the worst fish you've ever cooked? Mm. Wow. Yeah. Good call. One of the worst. 
There's no such thing as a bad fish, just a bad cold. It's so bad, I just chewed it and spat it out. Literally. I remember it being chewy. Gotta just cook this to perfection. Turn it off. <laughs> what? Wow. Like, that is how tough it is. I can't even rip it apart. Good for a curry, you reckon? That chewy. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Well, there it is, folks. The last MSP. This boat ever sees, that's for sure. Wow. That was that's a small not one even too. edible. That's a small one. That's not edible. Not edible. No. So our go-to with any like tough fish is usually a fish dip. So I don't know. I'll blitz it and see what it looks like. Might break the blender. <laughs> Not bad. It's crazy. I've never ever seen a fish like this ever. Give me That's a bit. crazy. She firm. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's like failure. It's like an overcooked <laughs> lobster. That's what it tastes like. Mm. Really firm. Give us another bit. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> Maybe right. it's not bad. Yeah. Oh. You get a sore jaw after it, though. Yeah, I'll chuck it in the blender, make a dip. I'll eat that in a wrap. Will you? I'm starving. <laughs> That's right. Okay, go Say you're wrapping the blender and burning, <laughs> burning the motor out. <laughs> <laughs> so Michael likes it. <laughs> it's got the consistency of like tough beef. <laughs> that sounds so... <laughs> I reckon char grilled that with some satay sauce. Flambe. It'd be like a... Piece of chicken? Chewy chicken? Yeah, like a satay, beef satay stick or something. Give us another bit. As Lincoln always says, hunger is the best sauce. <laughs> it is incredibly tough. Okay, so I'm going to make the fish dip. With that Maori sea perch, Michael actually had a fish wrap. I don't know how his jaw didn't fall off. It was nice. It was nice. So um, our fish dip is really good for any old fish that you don't really want to eat cold. What we do is I boots it up, a bit of chopped red onion. Um, I've got some lemon juice in there already. And some pickles, I'll put them in after. And then you just add in a little bit of aioli or mayonnaise. And this gives you the most delicious fish dip. Everyone loves this that we make it for. You can make, you can put it in a sushi roll. Ooh, Tastes like that and... tuna dip. I like them a bit chunky. Okay, so there's your fish dip. Mm. So if you ever get tuna dip from like a deli or anything like that, this tastes pretty similar to that. So it's literally just fish, bleeps with gherkins, red onion, salt, pepper. I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika in this. So easy there, son. And a bit of aioli. And there you have it. Delicious fish dip, which everyone compliments this on. Oh, chewy. Nah, just take it. Good. Mm, yummy. That's our go-to. Very easy. Great way to use chewy fish or, oh, you or just old fish. Good fish. You can do it with good fish too. This is the dip that we make with the smoked mac tuna and it is so good. Give it a go. You can literally use any fish and I highly recommend it. Great way to use any old fish and really good at like parties, dinner parties, sundowners and stuff like that. Oh my god, finally! <laughs> All day! All the whole day. <laughs> we finally hooked up. We've dropped three things. Four fish. Four fish, oh my god. I'm so excited. You better not drop it. <laughs> no pressure. The water is electric. We started sailing today. With no end destination. Oh, what is it? This might be the world's tiniest blahead. Really? 
I don't know. Oh, Who that? Of all the fish in the ocean, to jag a stinky cooter. Really joking. 100 meters of water. Cooter. All right, so we are running out of light to get into our anchorage, and Michael has just hooked up the standard. We are like touch and go if we're going to get in with enough sunlight. But uh, hopefully, it's a good fish this time. Stinky cooter. <laughs> going hard. What doesn't go very hard? It's not a yellow fan. Cooter. <laughs> I'm not going to get the gaff this time because I feel like every time I do, I curse. Oh, what is it? It's big. It's a lot. It's a mackerel. Cooter. It's a mackerel. Stinky cooter. Is it? Yeah. Sure, it's a cooter. It's, it's a oh, Spanish. Spanish. It is a Spanish. Watch the. Oh. Yeah, the shark's on it. wrap it up that's it for this episode we'll see you next episode as we head away from this cyclone on this beautiful passage into cairns bye join us next episode as we prepare for an incoming cyclone it's expected to be named today we double check our insurance policy because there's a lot of loopholes they've hung up on me you need to follow the directions of the local council yep. to where they allocate you in the mangroves all the ports in queensland have a cyclone contingency plan. Uh, if you're in a marina, will that marina be evacuated? If some have like a system where this spot's for Navy boats, this spot's for commercial vessels. And go scouting for the best spot in town. As always, a huge thank you to our current patrons and welcome back on board Murray and Shaggy Dog. And also to anyone who's grabbed some merch, your support is truly appreciated. Thank you. If you'd like to grab some of your own, head over to sailingpapau.com. Cheers.